So we're, we're um, here again for the Sculpture Forum. Um, and I am gathered with Brent Johnso and Jock Ireland, and we are honoured to have Karen Wilkin, a distinguished critic, historian, and curator with us again. And we've all been to see an exhibition uh, uptown at LGDR Gallery on Madison Avenue, um, which is titled Head On, and it's curated by Dieter Schwartz. Um, and it's an exhibition of masks and heads by 11 artists, I think 11, I think I counted 11. Um, some of them will correct me if that's not right, but, and, and it, 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 it's a range of work. Um, and it's, it's a well installed, I thought a very well installed show with one or two exceptions. Um, and, and, you know, a kind of just a nice meaty amount of work to look at. Um, and raises all kinds of questions. Um, and it's the first time that we have, as a forum, attempted to talk about a group show. I think talking about group shows raises, you know, some problems that <clears throat> we may or may not encounter. But anyway, we, we, we're doing it. So I'm going to just leave it there for now and invite whoever, Karen, you, it was your suggestion that we do this. So would you like to start us off? Well, as you know, we've been on the alert for sculpture shows. Yes. Of which there are not <laughs> as many as one might hope. Yes. So when this, I heard about this, I told you about it, mm. and then I went to a, a press preview, and I thought, there's a lot to talk about here, mm. um, and not so much work that will be overwhelming. Um, it's, I think, a very interesting but also a very uneven show. Uh, the the uh, excellence of the individual works is uh, over a very wide spectrum. And it also is uh, full of sculptures by painters, um, some of whom I did not know had ever made sculpture. So that raises that question about is there a difference between sculptor's sculpture and painter's sculpture. But I found enough that I was really engaged by um, to enjoy spending time there. Uh, what I was most interested in were uh, Bill Tucker's three new works. Um, I was interested in the Joel Shapiro's. Um, I was more interested in the Tomas Schutte pieces than I thought I would be. There's a very early Antony Caro, when he was from, I think, 57, when he was still doing expressionistic figures that he described as being what it's like to be inside the body. You don't see very many of those anymore. And um, as I say, there was enough to engage me. Jock? Uh, yeah, well, I, I had fun at, at the show. Uh, uh, I missed a kind of organizing uh, idea and, and it is difficult to um, uh, to know where to start uh, when talking about it but just to pick up on Karen uh, this painter uh, sculptor business I it, it wasn't that that uh, grabbed me but it was uh, it was more the question of what is a head, and uh, is I, I felt well Bill Tucker's uh, uh, heads, masks, what whatever they are, they're very much sculpt sculptures, mm -hmm. uh, and less about heads, and it was that back and forth that. Uh, that took me through the show. I, I was asking myself that question. Uh, yeah, well, a, num a number of the things in the show are, are simply masks. They're, they're not yeah. physical, ob solid objects in the round. They are just masks. Yeah. Um, and 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 but, but yeah, it, it also isn't the case from my what I looked at, Karen. Mm -hmm. That it wasn't that the painters made masks and the sculptors made objects. No, it was wasn't. No, not it at wasn't. all. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, but but yeah, I mean, there, there didn't seem to be a theme other than just to put out a bunch of stuff that explored this, you know, question of, you know, I think there's some talk in the press release of expression. Um, and there is a wide range, isn't there, from the Shapiro's, which are very uh, abstract and which I think nobody had thought of as heads until we saw them in this context. Um, well, he claims he always thought. He claims heads. that, yes. yes. And maybe that's true. Maybe I mean, it's true. I, I wouldn't yeah. know. Um, I liked them, whatever they were. I, I liked them very much, although I was I was perturbed that they were on the shelf. Yes, I wish they had been where we could see them in the round, yes, as opposed to some of the Very much other so, things. especially yeah. that first little one, yeah. uh, which is plaster and the, wood. Yes. Um, because there's something going on at the back of it, which you can't which you see. Which can't see, exactly. Yeah, and which is important. Um, but yeah, they. I, I thought they were at one extreme, and then mm -hmm. I guess there are the, the other extreme would be that uh, delightful. Uh, what was it? The Lucio Fontana yes. ceramic head. Yes. Yeah. Which is delightful. I thought. You know. Yes. I mean, I, I I really enjoyed it enormously. It's such a virtuoso piece of work. Um, you but know. There's a huge a time span there. In fact, that is really. Uh, it's one of the earlier pieces in the show. There are a few from the 40s, but the Fontana is at, I think, 51. Yeah, 51. And the Shapiros are the 80s. Yeah. Um, and the Tuckers are... Tuckers are in 2022. 2022, yeah. yeah. Yes. Brand. Um, <clears throat> I thought the, uh, you, you know, the selection who knows, it, ha it must have something to do with the business and stock and estates. It was such an overwhelming uh, wealth of themes and modes and, and problems at work. It was really kind of a vastly overstimulating show. And I was struck at the installation is really very fine. Mm -hmm. uh, Fine-tuned and, and uh, uh, it, it, it's not it's nowhere near a laugh out loud thing, but you know occasionally witty and wry, and some of the work is so individually so moving. Um, I mean, one peculiar observation I was thinking of the de Kooning's. Thinking to myself, when a sensor, you know, no matter what kind of, uh, you know, ruthless exploration of form, they're in a sense kind of emotionally cool. And I thought, how could you do, how could you do that to form and not involve so much emotion? And I thought to myself, no, it's not that simple. There's this, this like high plastic sense that's so cool headed in itself that you don't feel that he's working with emotions in his hands, that feelings come forth out of this process. That I was really struck by, like a really kind of high old master mm, control and scope. But the thing I was kind of most struck by was that I couldn't find ultimately surveying both floors, the whole room, I couldn't find anything to match the Fontana. And I thought to myself, in some way, an individual trumps every universal. <laughs> and a portrait trumps any kind of philosophical object you can pose, no matter how interesting, how trenchant the problem. Well, that's one of the issues that, the, that is raised the minute you start to engage this, this subject, isn't it? I mean, you know, what. what Where's the line between a portrait and, uh, you know, and something else? Uh, you know, the issue of recognition is involved, and uh, the minute you start thinking about faces, the issue of recognition is, is involved, and and uh, that didn't seem to be anything that was specifically addressed. As you note, I think Brent, that that Fontana is the only thing that 
offers itself clearly as a portrait. I, uh, I thought. I, I, but just to go back to de Kooning, I thought it was really interesting that they posed the two de Kooning pieces next to the de Caro piece, yeah. um, which predates the de Kooning pieces by some years, and yet somehow the sits well alongside them. Yeah. Very surprising. Yeah. Yeah, that was surprising. But to, um, I believe, in reference to what you just said about the portraits, I think the two reclining Shruta heads, the male and female, are intended as portraits. Uh, they are, uh, you know, very specific individuals, uh, as far as I know, and conceived as a pair. But uh, I thought your, your comment about uh, the, the specificity of the head being a, an issue, uh, looking back at you, I mean, that's what really is engaging me about the Bill Tuckers, the sense that what you think is a inner block, and they apparently started out as just, you know, chunks of plaster in the studio, mm. uh, and then they started looking back at him, and he enhanced that, and I, I find it very convincing. And mysterious. Did you move away from it? Did I see something? Uh, yes. Yes. Um, I, I think it's a, it's an issue Bill has been playing with for some time. Yes. Uh, uh, question of, of of you know catching a, a, an image of something embedded in an object and. Um, and 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 uh, I, I, we we had a long exchange about this when after Maud visited Bill's studio, mm -hmm. um, and I was complaining that once you've caught the image, especially if it's of a face, um, it's hard to lose it again, um, uh, and that seems to me to be what's necessary, you know, so that you you keep reverting to seeing it as a lump of stuff. And then you find the face again, and then you can't find it again. And I thought that, the, the, and I, I, that's not been the case in some of Bill's earlier work in this, in this area. But, mm -hmm. but I thought that was, these were more successful in that regard. I, I um, agree. And, they, and they're also being one thing, whereas uh, in, in some of the earlier work, you know, is... Is it an elbow? Is it a torso? Yes. Is it you now that kind of scale ambiguity? I found very disturbing. Mm. Yeah, I I, I liked the uh, the Fortier, uh, Jean Fortier's uh, one of the heads upstairs and the big head downstairs. I thought that was a really a stunning and frightening piece of work. It could yeah. have been by different artists, no? Yes. And, and, and the one downstairs was so ferocious, and the, the, the cute one upstairs. Yes, <laughs> yes, and, and a very moving one upstairs. There was a kind of... Rather, there were two of them, yeah. Yeah, ra one rather, uh, I thought, kind of slightly silly, and then one that I thought was really very touching, very sweet, very... And aren't those 1940s pieces, aren't those I think they're during, all 1940s. During the war? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Which was, which was moving and which was silly? The left. The, the one, the one on on, on the um, right was the silly one. The one on the left, the okay. mm -hmm. bigger, chunkier one was. I thought it was really, really just absolutely. Um, I, I mean, it was just lovely. It was really just, you know. Yeah, I, I, uh, but I think um, I certainly like the two equally, uh, yeah. and. Uh, and I was disappointed. I'd seen the big one downstairs mm -hmm. in photographs, but I, but I was disappointed yeah. by the... Yeah, I, I'd, I'd seen the big one before somewhere in London mm -hmm. uh, at an it, exhibition. It's been around. Yeah. yeah. And I remember being struck by it when I saw it before and not really knowing anything about him. It was some time ago. Um, but I, I, you know, again, I, you know, it's it, it's a it's it's a very engaging show with some, as mm -hmm. Karen said, I think in the beginning, some things that perhaps one uh, doesn't need in it. Yeah, um, some, yeah. Some of the Chamberlain things I thought were right, kind of but, throwaway things. But the Fautrier and uh, 
um, and the talk, you know, seeing the two yeah. together mm -hmm. uh, uh, was exciting for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. Um, uh, and, and even the Fontana. You know, we disagreed yeah. about the Fontana, we did. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think of the ceramic piece as kind of vulgar. The uh, Fontana? Yeah. But, vulgar? Yeah, but really? the Fautrier, they're alive as heads. Uh, uh, they're modeled mm -hmm. until a head, or till a spirit is found in the uh, mud, in the uh, clay. Mm -hmm. uh, the Fautre, the Fontana is just a look. Uh, yeah, uh, I agree with that. Yeah, and it's, I, but this is my little, you know, head versus sculpture thing. John, uh, we have to grapple. Yeah, well, yeah. Okay. you haven't spent time diametrically in disagree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I thought the Fontana was really remarkable for characterological sense that it seems so potently a particular individual a moment in life and, and, and as sort of casual as all the modeling and the glaze was, it seemed so right on in form. You know, the small chin, the broad face, the, the kind of pouty forehead that went with a small yeah, I, I, I'm mouth. I'm with you, absolutely. It was oh, exactly thought, wow, that kind of moment in life of a, a young woman Caught, uh, you know, uh, just uh, uh, absolutely yeah. caught. I mean, just there. Yeah, and, and you could imagine the ten-year-old and the forty-year-old. Yeah, and looking mm -hmm. at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twenty-nine-year-old mm -hmm. face. Yeah. It's very unfair, but I did find myself in there asking, "Where is Giacometti?" Well, I think this is something that uh, Brant was uh, alluding to when he said it had to do with the business, and to an extent, it's what they could get. In terms, of, and they're, they're a pretty high-powered gallery in terms of the the four people who came together to to make this place. But um, they there are people that they don't represent um, that they obviously weren't going to get on the secondary market. Um, so it, there, there's that aspect of it. This yeah. isn't a museum show. No, I know, yeah. but 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 you know, yeah, I, I it's it's a silly but thing to right. say, but I you mean, know. No, it's a, it's one of the first things that comes to mind. Yes. Of course. Yes. Um, yeah, and, and it's that Giacometti made heads, at least you know from 1941 or what. You know, at some point he started making heads and not sculpture. Until that point, he was struggling with sculptural ideas. And it's, it's, the Tuckers are very nosy. They're, uh, and I kept thinking, uh, you know, they they end up being sculptures, uh, uh, sort of disappointingly for me. But I kept thinking of that Giacometti nose, you know, that, uh, that sort of terrifying mm -hmm. thing, uh, that, uh, mm -hmm. that's sort of, uh, I mean, there there isn't really much of Giacometti in Tucker. He, there's a sort of insistent modesty and unaggressiveness in Bill's work. It seems to me he and dislikes Giacometti. No, I I I don't want to mm -hmm. uh, speculate there, but but the the nosiness uh, and the sort of I, I, Bill has talked and written about Matisse. Uh, Matisse's heads, the mm -hmm. Jeanette heads, and the sense in which the features overwhelm the, uh, and it seems that he was sort of letting a nose take charge, but also uh, sort of in making sure to embed the nose in a sculpture, uh, in in these heads. Uh, but it, there's there's more to them than just this nose business, mm -hmm. but. Uh, and there, it is a wonderful kind of mildness and gentleness um, uh, that seems to be, you know, he's feeling something, and it's coming out in. Uh, yeah, on, in, on the two on the two resin pieces, the coloring is very important. Mm -hmm. on those. There are two resin pieces and one bronze, and I did find myself thinking, looking, and thinking just how much of one's reading 
uh, of them as heads mm -hmm. is dependent on the colouring. Mm -hmm. um, but the, I think the, uh, the presence of the various, uh, very different surfaces and different materials it is part of what keeps you engaged by the exhibition. Yes. And, and to get back to the Fontana, I mean, uh, you were talking about the casualness of the glazing and um, I immediately, if, you deal, if I'm dealing with a white naturalistic head by an Italian artist, I start thinking about Roman portraiture. And uh, the fact that this is clearly clay, uh, mm -hmm. a kind of sloppy glaze, is taking that tradition of marble carving and, and essentially uh, just saying, the hell with that, you know, we can, we can do this in a much more intimate and informal way. Because you can't tell me that, a, that an uh, Italian sculptor of Fontana's generation wasn't brought up on that stuff. Yeah, but he, he it's too casual for me. It's just... Uh, well, Not he, enough what, nose, what, what, he has a beautiful nose. Oh, well, Why? that's the thing. But it, it, where is the nose? It's uh, you know, it's sort of lost. It's no, it's not, not at all. It's exactly okay. where it's supposed to be. Um, what you're calling casual, I saw as a kind of virtuosity. I mean, you know, the kind of really extraordinary virtuosity thing. Vulgar so, virtuosity. Somebody you know playing Very the violin, intimate. just so beautiful. Very intimate. Yeah. Okay. Well. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so it's a, yeah. it's a. What haven't we discussed? What, well, what something I like. To, I I'm puzzled by, and I'd like to know what you all think. Um, as I said, I like the Joe Shapiro's very much, and I was perfectly happy with the plaster piece that's taken on the wood grain, which I thought uh, was very effective mm -hmm. in the in my reading of that piece. And then the bronze one, which reproduces the wood grain, I was irritated by that reproduction. Interesting, interesting, because we, we, we discussed a, a show of Joel's work some time ago, um, and in that show there was a bronze casting of a wooden piece, which um, Brandt revealed to us was a burnout, so that it, it, mm -hmm. it was just, the wood was simply burned out, mm -hmm. you ha and there was uh, bits of hot milk glue and mm -hmm. what have you, and it was all perfectly reproduced in the bronze. Mm -hmm. And Jock was very annoyed by it, and and, and uh, because because I think it felt to you, Jock, like it was imitating something. It was a kind of mm -hmm. trompe l'oeil. It was a kind of you yeah. know. Yeah. I I I wasn't it. I I I thought it was great. I liked it. I wasn't irritated by that. No, mm -hmm. I wasn't irritated by it. I. That's the process. That's it, yeah. you know. And I wasn't. And I don't know why you'd be irritated by the process. I don't, I don't not know the why bronze. either. I was surprised by mm -hmm. it. By the, that, I, you know, I sort of. Um, that's why I, I preferred asked, the process. That's why I asked the, the questions. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, but that may have been that it, I just thought the form was more surprising. Yeah. In a way. No, I, I was know. very interested in the, in the sculpture. Uh, but but so I don't know whether it was because it was plaster. I just thought the the plaster piece was a more unpredictable form. I agree. I agree. Um, but that, that it was the wooden plaster piece that I really was. I wish myself. that had been out. Mm -hmm. Very surprised. You could see all of it. And 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 uh, you know there, there's a kind of casualness there. I mean there is a kind of casualness, mm -hmm. apparent casualness in a lot of Joel's work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it, and it doesn't bother me there because there's no virtuosity. Ah. That uh, uh, mm -hmm. that's my logic that I'm imposing on. Yeah. He very very rarely models, but the modeling in that piece is really mm -hmm. delicate, uh, economical, just right on. Well, directly in plaster, though, yeah. presumably, yeah. yes. Yeah, it's a, it's a very small piece of um, made out of wood and, and plaster, and, and but but that the, the, its relation to that base that it's on is so just perfect, yeah, and and surprising. We haven't talked about the Duran. We haven't talked about the Duran. Would you like to talk about the Duran? Uh, huh? I've 
<laughs> I really wish that the Dahlin had been somewhere else and the Shapiros had been out in the open yes. the way they yes. were. Yes, yes, because they are they are masks, aren't they? They're they not, are. and they didn't need to be yeah. on the big, um, the big pedestal, big table in the middle of the room, or not quite in the middle of the room. But I mean, I'm not a fan of Dahlin's paintings at that period, and I can't say that the sculptures made me rethink my position. <laughs> No, okay. Go ahead. No, no. I just, I just thought they were very kind of um, predictable in a way, and, mm -hmm. and, and, and yeah. sort of un uninteresting. Um, or derivative. Or it, it's. I, I don't know the names of the. I think Akan. Uh, there are um, African masks yeah. that I think are associated with. You know, they're sort of round and. Um, I don't know obvious uh, features, yeah, uh, and and it, it's they're wonderful, and I can understand his seeing these things and saying I, you know, want to take them home with me or I want to make something that's mm -hmm. just like them, uh, but they're too they're they they haven't been mm -hmm. assimilated. Yeah, it's, we haven't talked about the mirrors either. They were the great mirrors. Uh, <laughs> both the, are, are wonderful sculptures, uh, uh, you know. John, you surprised me. Oh, okay. Uh, they, and, and they're wonderful heads. Uh, wow. Uh, I agree, I think they could have been better castings. There's a certain freshness that had to be in the originals that somehow just yeah. doesn't, didn't translate in those castings. Uh -huh. They were extraordinary. I like the uh, one with the projecting part. I, I the shoe. couldn't <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, I couldn't get into the lump. Mm -hmm. You couldn't. You weren't sort of pulled around no, it. I wasn't. Uh -huh. I walked I would, I would. dutifully went around it, and I, I kept being pushed out to the surface. Um, mm -hmm. Where the the other one, I was much more. Uh, Involved in the one with the, with the sort of uh, gas mask. Uh. Yeah, but just the eyes on that one, the, you know, the cut out eyes, and yeah. how many other, uh, you know, in the eyes in the Chamberlain masks were I, I completely did. thoughtless. Both those yeah. things annoyed me. I did not like either of them. I'm sorry, I just did not like them. They uh -huh. seemed they seemed somewhere between clever and silly. Uh -huh. Well, a lot, there's a lot of silliness in Miro, uh, but it's... Yeah, but the, the there's silliness and silliness. I mean, there's good silliness and there's silly silliness. Uh -huh. Well, it, this, it seemed to me, was, uh, you know, sparklingly serious silliness. I'm, 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 I'm amazed that you... I mean, not... I'm, I just didn't think it was your cup of tea, John, but there uh -huh. we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, they're d difficult, or, uh, yeah. you know, I, and I'm trying to figure out, is that the big one, is it a conversation between two heads? Uh, I, I, I haven't figured that one out. Right. Uh, but I, the, the smaller one uh, was uh, comparable to the and de Kooning. For Brent, me. did you like the mirrors? You didn't say anything. Oh, yeah, I loved them. Oh, yeah. I, those are the pieces I thought uh, suffered in casting. Yeah, you just said that. that yeah. yeah. Um, I was really impressed by the Carol. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. The skullishness, uh, the roughness, the grotesque changes in uh, scale, and uh, and also the kind of um, prefiguration of like um, uh, you know, drinking, smoking, painting, Gustin. That funny oral relationship I had this uh, this like near skull with a tiny hand and a cigarette it was really kind of shocking and impressive. And I thought, looking at it, the kind of a similar feeling I get looking at the the Kuni, You think this is a first order sculptural imagination. I don't really have that feeling in his in his constructed work, I, but this I thought, oh yeah. It, it is a very surprising piece. I mean, I mean, 
a surprising piece in itself, but also astonishing that Tony did made that, you know, because it's okay. not you see that and you say, who made it, you would not say well, Tony Caro. If, if you know Caro, you know that there's a whole family of pieces that that belongs to, which, which where he's clearly trying to uh, find subject matter that is contemporary and surpri there's surprising. There's one of a uh, sort of torso that's a woman taking off a girdle. Um, huh. There's a man struggling to take a shirt off, yeah, um, I know you know, all of these yeah. Yeah. Uh, everyday things. Yeah. And I mean, it's, it, it's something, something that was in his thinking all along, no matter how he was working, which was the, well, why can't a sculpture be whatever, you know, and uh, something as unexpected as, as lighting mm. a cigarette. Yeah, it, it, it's just so, it's such a, a kind of expressionistic kind of piece that, that you know, mm. my sense is that most of Tony's work is so much cooler and so much more, um, I don't know, uh, conceptual. Well, we obviously differ on that. <laughs> okay. We'll have to talk about Cara someday. Yeah. When there's an exhibition. <laughs> Yeah. Let's hope there's an exhibition. And what about these two things? Nobody said anything about those things. Well, I wish I didn't feel that she was there because they needed a female person. <laughs> I mean, I really don't think the untitled one is a head, unless I, my sense of anatomy has <laughs> deserted me. <laughs> Well, I, I, I guess one is that is stretching it a bit, isn't it? Yeah, but I it could um, the shooters. Uh, I sort of also don't think they're there. Or you know, they are obviously and in a very what a vulgar to use that word again sense uh, heads. But that arch um, yeah. uh, seems to me. Um, well, I think of the torso of Adele, um, mm -hmm. the Rona, uh, but in particular, I think of that because of Tim Scott and mm -hmm. his variations on that and uh, recent marriage. I, I like the two uh, gisons uh, shoot heads that I really wish huh. they hadn't been glazed. Well, yeah. What, what, uh, what, what attracts you about that? Exactly what you're talking about, that way uh, they are uh, show. Okay. Yeah, I, I... I mean, that's what I was interested in. I did, did, do I care if I ever see them again? No. Yeah. But okay. um, within this context, I was interested yeah, sure, in that. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't care for them. They seemed very ca casual. Uh, to use your word, John, yeah. and, and vulgar, um, and vulgar in a, in a good way, I think. But but mm. but but uh, they, I, they felt they felt very. I don't know. I think somehow they just felt very commercial to me. Yeah. Anyway, it's a very st stimulating show, and, and and really good to see. I mean, good to see a show like this. Good that they did it. Good that they. There's an Asker Jorn that we yeah. haven't. Uh, ah. Ah oh, yes. Should uh, we? Should we? Well, I, I, I've only seen the Caro in photographs before, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and I was disappointed by it a little bit. By uh, the Caro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it, I felt it wasn't big enough, um, and I just my picture of it in my head from the photographs was that Over it was, life size. was mm -hmm. massive. And the Astro John you were Well, it was too about. big. It was too big. Yeah, it, I that's... Uh, I mean, it was pretty good. I, I, um, I, you know, it fit in well in this, uh, in this show. I, you know, you're you're talking about the bronze, yeah. <laughs> not the ceramic, I take it. Yeah. 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 You know, general observation from this show is like time and date and precedence and uh, genealogy just don't mean anything. Yeah. 
that this Schutte and this Oscar Jorn, you know, like, I don't know what, 30 some years apart. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's amazingly uh, close to, you know, say roughly identical. Well, you may and be talking about the finiteness of the human mind. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, all the work felt very contemporary in a way, didn't it? It all felt very, very, as if it could have been made, you know, in the last two or three years. Yeah, mm -hmm. but but the idea, of, you we? know, people aren't coming up with shows of heads. No, uh, they're not. Uh, it, it, it's a nice, surprising show in that sense. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and one could do another show of heads with a completely different set of 11 artists that mm -hmm. would be equally yeah, sure. interesting, and, yeah. and, and it would be really nice to do that. It yeah. would be very nice to do let's that. Let's do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, let's do it. All we need is a place. We've got the studio school. Let's do it. Let's do it. Of course, we know how lavish the budget at the studio is. Well, going. you know, we, 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 we can find a way to do it. Let's do yeah. it. Okay, thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Yeah, yeah right. Let's do it.